Hello children. I welcome you all again in science class. Before I start with new chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastic, I would like to know whether you have completed your holidays homework or not. Children, maintain your holidays homework in one file as we have instructed you before also. will tell you at time when you have to submit that written work okay with time we will definitely inform you about that you all have to complete your holidays homework we will give you points grades for your holidays homework children take it seriously i hope you already have completed your holidays homework children as your holidays are over now we are going to start with new chapter of science that is synthetic fibers and plastic okay before these this chapter we have already discussed two chapter that was crop production and management and um that microorganism chapter in this video i'm going to give you introduction about this chapter with coming videos children we are going to discuss each and every part of this chapter in brief in this chapter we are going to discuss in whole chapter children what we are going to discuss topics to be covered is introduction today we will do introduction only of this chapter in the coming videos what we are going to discuss natural versus synthetic fibers types of synthetic fibers types of synthetic fiber we are having three varieties rayon nylon polyester plastic plastic and the environment this is a very small chapter children very soon we are going to end with this chapter so let's start with today's introduction part okay now children as we know that in our day to day life many things are around us so you observe and tell me make a list of those things which are made up of these synthetic fibers and plastic after knowing the introduction of this chapter okay children so as we know that around us so many things are there which are made up of these synthetic fibers and plastics let me show you few things i have with me like this is a case of my specs it is made up of plastic and i am having this one polythene bag with me this is also made up of plastic then this is a two toothbrush the body part of this toothbrush is made up of plastic and if you observe this this is made up made up of synthetic fiber that is called nylon okay then i am having this switch board with me okay extension board this is made up of plastic okay then i am having with me a toy okay this is also made up of plastic children so we can say that around us we are having so many things which is made up of plastic and synthetic fiber i hope you all are able to see and observe these kind of material so this is comb this is made up of plastic we can say that surrounds us many things which are made up of synthetic fibers and plastic okay now one screw driver i am having with me so if you observe this is the plastic body okay so in this screw driver also plastic is involved okay then i am having one thread with me this is a thread okay so this is also a kind of fiber we are going to discuss in this chapter we are having natural fibers as well as artificial fibers with us 
सो इन विच कैटेगरी दिस थ्रेड कम्स सो एज वी मूव फॉरवर्ड टूवर्ड दिस चैप्टर आफ्टर दैट यू ऑल आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नेचुरल फाइबर एंड सिंथेटिक फाइबर ओके वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद यू दैट नेचुरल फाइबर्स आर दोज फाइबर्स चिल्ड्रेन विच आर विच आर ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्ट इन नेचर एंड सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स आर दोज फाइबर्स विच आर मेड बाय मैन ओके सो विद विद चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू कम टू नो ईच एंड एवरी थिंग क्लियर ओके एट द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर आई विल शोर दैट यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नेचुरल एंड सिंथेटिक फाइबर एंड सराउंड्स यू वट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर प्रेजेंट इज नेचुरल फाइबर एंड वट बिलोंग्स टू द सिंथेटिक फाइबर सो लेट्स डिस्कस मोर अबाउट दिस चैप्टर चिल्ड्रेन ओके इन माई नेक्स्ट लाइट लेट्स सी वट इज देयर इन द नेक्स्ट लाइट right now i have shown you so many things like polythen bag screw driver spex case okay so when you write you use pen also that pen is also made up of plastic so we can say that around us many things are there which we use in a form of plastic like buckets for bath we use bucket we use cup okay so that is also made up of plastic children toys that is also made up of plastic so in the clothes side also many garments are there which are made up of different different fibers with synthetic fiber with natural fiber that garments are made up of like cotton silk artificial silk many different materials are available for manufacture clothes you have automobile tires also gears electric insulated material electric insulated material are those material which a electrician use for doing wiring in the house for constructing switch boards okay so those material also are covered with the help of plastic for example children like if you observe ropes a uh, girls are using rope for jumping so that rope is very thin but it is extremely flexible and strong you can fold it as you want it is so strong children you can use for rope climbing as well as now let's discuss about threads you have different types of thread with you like stitching for stitching clothes in my introductory part i have shown you thread so with the help of that thread in the sewing machine we can stitch our clothes or we can make our stuff very easily all these things are made up of synthetic fibers and plastic basically in this chapter we are going to talk about fibers then we are going to talk about synthetic fibers and their example types of synthetic fibers and at the end we conclude this chapter with a discussion on plastic children so now let's start the definitions few and start with the chapter let's move to the next line first is what are fibers first question here what are fibers actually fibers are thread filament which forms constituent of various composite material so these are the thread filament children and those filaments together form fibers 
those filaments together form fibers and fibers turn into fabric so those fiber group together make it fabric if you would have ever been to shop for buying clothes children so what shopkeeper ask what kind of fabric do you want what kind of fabric do you want this is a question asked by the shopkeeper so we are having different types of fabric like cotton terricot silk rayon nylon what are these these are different types of fabrics these fabrics are made up of fibers so fibers are thread like structure and many thread like structure show a kind of fabric now what i say we can say that here one word is you that is called composite so what is the meaning of composite material here these material could be textile clothes it could be vegetable fibers now these thread like filaments can be natural or synthetic so when i say natural it means already existing in nature children or when we say synthetic we means artificial it can modify easily we can modify artificially produce fibers so these thread like structure can be synthetic or can be natural so in my next slide i have written that there are two types of fiber basically first natural fiber and second is synthetic fiber so natural fibers are those which is already exist in nature okay synthetic fibers are those made by man okay but both synthetic and natural are used to produce wide variety of things or products like paper sheet so some of these example of fibers are cotton silk wool etc so basically we can say that what you understand that what are fibers so what are fibers children fibers are a thread like structure when these thread like structure combine together it come out in a form of fabric okay now move to the next slide we will first discuss about what is natural fibers so fibers obtain from plant or animal source so as we already know that natural means which is already exist in nature so from where we are getting natural fiber we are getting from plant and from animal source the animals and plants are already present in the nature in the environment so with the help of plant and animal uh, we can get this natural fibers some examples are natural fibers cotton flax jute hemp coir tree wood wool and silk okay now natural fibers are obtained from plant or animal source anything which is already exist in nature or we obtain from animal resource are called natural fibers so we have already know uh, now we already know what are the examples of natural fibers when you say cotton children here in the natural fiber i have given you one example cotton so when we say cotton it means small thread like structure are there which combine together called fabric and that fabric is used for making pants frocks clothes etc so in this way cotton can be used from where from where we are getting this cotton cotton is derived from plant source cotton is derived from plant source it is an example of seed fiber example of 
सीड फाइबर ओके फ्रॉम द सीड्स ऑफ द कॉटन प्लांट वी गेट कॉटन नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट फ्लैक्स हेयर वी आर सेइंग दैट कॉटन इज अ सीड फाइबर फ्रॉम द सीड सीड ऑफ द प्लांट यू कैन हैव कॉटन सो व्हाट अबाउट फ्लैक्स जूट एंड हेम्प these are the skin fiber they belong to the skin fiber so these are collected from the skin surrounded to the stem of the plant one plant is there and the stem of that plant from that you get these kind of fibers the outermost layer of the plant stem means the outermost layer of the plant then you are having coir this coir is a coconut fiber which we obtain from coconut tree then what about tree wood tree wood is obtained from stock of different plants like bamboo you can see different natural fiber they have different sources children all of them either they are obtained from plant or animal if you talk about wool last is wool and silk if you talk about wool wool is obtained by lots of animal like sheep etc sheep has protected layer on his body from sheep you can derived wool and from where silk is obtained silk is obtained by animal silk worm so you can say that different sources are present for different fibers to obtain okay let's move to the next slide now we are having second type of fiber that is artificial fiber in the previous slide we have discussed about the natural fibers now we are going to discuss about artificial fiber as the name suggests that it is a artificial fiber artificial fiber means it is made by man and it is uh, it is shown in front of world like a natural for example silk the natural silk we are getting from silk worm okay so the natural means original one we are talking about the original silk that original silk is obtained by the silk worm children that is uh, that is very costly so the demand of silk is very much in the market for fulfilling that demand one scientist has has generated artificial fibers okay so that each and every one get that silk the appearance of that artificial silk is just like a silk okay but there is a difference between in quality okay the appearance is same but quality is different so just for reducing the cost of that material a uh, man is man is making that particular product but in a cheaper rate so like we are saying that artificial fiber as per name suggest these are man made fibers so that is why we can say that artificial fibers are man made fibers they are also known as synthetic fibers what are the examples Ni nylon rayon polyester that is why they are why we are saying that synthetic man made because they are manufactured by the man these are not existing in nature these are also called synthetic fibers so some of the examples are nylon rayon polyester you have often heard about nylon threads which are used for rope climbing it is also used for making parachutes now second is rayon rayon these are used for making bed sheets clothes etc so there are many application of artificial fibers children here one question arises that we have natural fibers with us naturally we are getting these fibers why do we need artificial fibers because natural fibers are very much expensive so scientists has research for artificial fibers here i want to add that properties of artificial fibers can be changed 
according to our need because they are completely in our control under the control of human beings the quality we want to add in that according to the demand we can easily change the properties of the artificial fiber like children we are getting natural fibers from the plant source from the animal source there and what kind of uh, quality we are getting from the uh, animal or plant we have to take that quality and we have to use that particular uh, quality in a same manner as we are getting from the plant or animal but in the synth artificial fiber we have we are having a choice like if we want uh, the cotton in blue color so we can have cotton in blue color because we are making that cotton artificially so when we are making that artificial cotton that time we can add different color in that so in artificial fiber we can make changes very easily changes are very easy to make okay let's move to the next slide why do we need artificial fiber this is clear to you because the natural fibers are very much costly children because of that expensive nature of natural fiber we need artificial fiber and because of that scientists has produced artificial fibers in the market so that each and every one can use those things now how artificial fibers produce artificial fibers are produced by the process of by the process called spinning now this is the interesting th thing children spinning you need to understand this spinning this is the interesting question here most of the artificial fibers are produced by the process of spinning how, how this spinning process happens let's discuss that okay children polymer polymer means artificial fiber basically initially when polymer form that time it is very thick it is very thick and this thick polymer pass through device that is called spinneret so that spinneret is a disc kind of structure they have so many pores inside this spinneret okay when these polymers are come out from these pores they convert into long thick thread called fi fibers so this process is called spinning because they are spinning from device called spinneret so i repeat again polymer means artificial fiber initially polymer is very thick initially polymer is very thick so we are having one disc like structure spinneret like this and that small small pores are there when this polymer enter inside this spinneret and comes out from here it comes out in a form of fiber so when fibers collect together is called fabric okay this is a whole process by which we get artificial fiber synthetic fibers are polymers as i said synthetic fibers are polymers and when these small small molecules come together so individually small molecules are called monomers so we can say that when these monomers come together it come in a form of polymer poly means many they repeat it for make a chain okay so synthetic fibers are polymers large molecules made up of multiple repeated sub unit so it make a chain like this so 
individually it is called monomer so when these monomers small small monomer join together it convert into a form of polymer and that polymer is called artificial fiber okay we can say that polymer consists of multiple units of monomer or can say that multiple time it repeat itself and can say some small unit repeat again and again for making a large unit children i hope you all are able to understand what is artificial fiber and how it can actually produced now let's move to the next slide we have already discussed about natural and artificial fiber both okay so uh let's see the difference between both natural fiber natural fiber is exist naturally from plant and from animal source we are getting not possible to change fabric structure as we are getting from plant and animal source so we need to use as it is we are getting from plant or animal we can't change the structure we can't change the basically properties of that fiber natural fiber is environmental friendly it never ever harm to the environment because we are getting that thing naturally more comfortable and higher price so we are getting that thing naturally there is no mixture of chemicals in that so that is why the price of that fiber is very high mostly used in clothing okay now in the second side we are having artificial fibers so it do not exist naturally who is making this artificial fiber children man is making man made fiber that because of that name suggest man made fiber artificial fiber synthetic fiber all are belong to the same thing structure can be altered because we are the one who is creating artificial fiber so we can uh, change the structure we can change the color we can change the texture of the fiber according to our wish not environmental friendly so as we are making that thing so we are using chemicals so when we are using chemicals that are not useful to us that are not environmental friendly less comfortable lower price so this is not a original thing this is a man made thing which is a copy of the original thing which just look like a original fiber but it is not a original fiber it is a artificial fiber that is why it is less comfortable and we can get this artificial fiber in the lower price in comparison to the natural used for multiple purposes so artificial fiber we can use for the multiple purposes because <laughs> it has so many property it has so many color texture so we can use according to our need so with this our today's lecture we are winding up so i hope you all are able to understand each and everything clear you are able to know now why we are calling simple fiber like a synthetic fiber what is the difference between natural and synthetic fiber write down this into your notebook children and in the next video we are going to discuss more about this chapter until thank you